Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom The Rag Trade. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Rag Trade is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of the rag trade. Fabia Drake was born in 1904 in the sitcom she plays Mrs. Green. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 58 and sadly she passed away on February 28, 1990 at the age of 86. Well, there is a very simple explanation for this. I lost my keys down her back. <laughs> Your keys down her back? What will you play? I've been thinking about it and I'm not absolutely sure. It was wearing jeans, a raincoat, navy blue. Sheila Hancock was born in 1933 in the sitcom she plays Carol Taylor. In 1961, when she was in the sitcom, she was 28, and now she's 91. Well, that's pretty. What a magnificent race that was. The most exciting finish of the meeting. And the winner, 20 to 1 to 3. Who won? Me, no one! <laughs> and may I say, a very... It's acting, because I've always suffered from terrible stage yes. fright. Crucifying stage fright. And it started with St. Joan. Really? Rag Varney was born in 1916, in the sitcom he plays Rag Turner. In 1961, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45, and sadly he passed away on November 16, 2008, at the age of 92. Let's go. I think it's like, I've seen my sister do this, you put it over like that, and then you uh, put it, yeah, that's it, that's it, look, because the legs go through there, see? <laughs> wow. Diamond T. Lawrence. So that bite where it wasn't, but it's when we put this on the skid pan, he put me on the, they put me on the skid pan, there's a, uh, an ex- Anne Beach was born in 1938 in the sitcom she played Brenda. In 1961, when she was in the sitcom, she was 23, and sadly she passed away on March 9, 2017, at 78. I want to be in the cake, I promise you. Formal like with a sly fag he was having. Sly fag? What sly fag? He gave up ten years ago when he had his stroke. Wanda Ventham was born in 1935 in the sitcom she plays Shirley. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 27 years old and now she's 88. Oh. Hubert Marlowe. Marlowe? No, I can't say that Doctor I... Dr. Hubert Marlowe. Doctor. Oh, I'm afraid we only accept rare women here, sir. 70s, and I think, I think our performances would have been pretty kind of, pretty static by comparison to today's series. I mean, you know, the... Barbara Windsor was born in 1937 in the sitcom she plays Gloria. In 1961, when she was in the sitcom, she was 24, and sadly she passed away on December 10, 2020, at the age of 83. Right, after careful consultation and with regard to the welfare of our fellow workers, the Executive Committee have come to the conclusion that due to the... Look, I don't like saying hard work. You can't say that. Not when our soldiers are out there fighting and then the nurses and, and you know, those fellas stuck down the pit. Irene Handel was born in 1901 in the sitcom she plays Rex Mom. In 1963, when she was in the sitcom, she was 62, and sadly she passed away on November 29, 1987, at the age of 85. I'll come up as quick as I could, Mr. Palfrey. What do you think? Well, I'm afraid it was a mistake, Mrs. Stringer. Mistake? But only just now you telephoned down and asked me to come up. Yes, well, I... Notice. Look at the work on it. Blinded their souls. You won't get work like that these days. Besides... You asked me where- Graham Stark was born in 1922 in the sitcom he plays Mr. Bassett. In 1962, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old, and sadly he passed away on October 29, 2013, at the age of 91. Take it away. I feel sick. Sick, yes, yes, yes. My captain is also saying, give that damn fool his pills. Tell him to swallow them. Peter Jones was born in 1920 in the sitcom he played Harold Fenner. 
In 1961, when he was in the sitcom, he was 41, and sadly he passed away on April 10, 2000, at 79. Going through a number of formalities before they will uh, release it. You wouldn't understand. It's highly complicated, very fiscal. I had a tag on a minute ago. What did I do? Monte Landis was born in 1933. In the sitcom, he plays Mr. Mitchell. In 1961, when he was in the sitcom, he was 28, and now he's 90 years old. Of course, make it look like an accident. But in San Saludos, a bad name. Least control agents never learn. San Saludos is a wonderful place. Miriam Carlin was born in 1925. In the sitcom, she plays Charlie Fleming. In 1961, when she was in the sitcom, she was 36. And sadly, he passed away on June 3, 2011, at the age of 85. Want a guaranteed nine hours spent from five and six and an hour plus six and an hour bonus. Well, you have got me over the proverbial barrel. Go that thing. Linda Barron was born in 1939. In the sitcom, she plays June. In 1962, when she was in the sitcom, she was 23 years old. And sadly, she passed away on March 5, 2022, at the age of 82. Get on, they sit there and shut up. Do you enjoy doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. CBB, I can't say it. CBB, well, it, it started <laughs> up as an educational program. Yeah. But it. Esma Cannon was born in 1905. In the sitcom, she plays Lily Swan. In 1961, when she was in the sitcom, she was 56. And sadly, she passed away on October 18, 1972, at the age of 66. When we reflect on the incredible journey of the rack trade that took place between 1961 to 1963, witnessing the growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.